Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the individual components of the mega code. We're going to do each of the bad things that happens and uh, make sure that you know how to take care of them. You have to describe this and talk about it during your ACLS certification. Signs of coronary thrombosis are chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, pain down the arm, pain up the chest. The main thing to do with these patients is, of course, get them to medical therapy as soon as possible. And the mainstay of medical therapy is MONA, morphine, oxygen, nitrates, and aspirin. Now, as physicians, we know that you can't always follow slavishly with various protocols. For example, if someone comes in and their blood pressure is 60, you're not going to be turning on a lot of nitroglycerin. We know that as anesthesiologists. But the other things, morphine, oxygen, nitrates, aspirin, especially aspirin, you want to make sure that you can always administer that as soon as feasible and practical to any patient who has what looks like a coronary syndrome. Patients should be sent to the hospital immediately without any delay whatsoever. And once in the hospital, decisions will be made about whether this is, for example, ST segment depression, and they're going to treat this medically, or ST segment elevation, indicating a transmural thrombus, which would require things like revascularization procedures or clot busters. Again, that stuff is stuff that is decided at the hospital. ACLS certification, a little reminder here, is advanced cardiac life support. Life support. So in terms of the decisions as to exactly how the MI is going to be treated, that's not really life support. That's the kind of things the cardiologists and the ER doctors are going to take care of. We just need to know to recognize the coronary syndrome, institute MONA as soon as possible and as soon as practical, and get the patient to advanced care as soon as possible. No waiting here. Time is myocardium. Stroke is familiar to anesthesiologists, too familiar sometimes I fear. All you need to know for AS, ACLS certification is to make sure that you can do a Cincinnati pre-hospital stroke survey, CPSS. And that's three things. All you need to know is those three things. You ask the patient to hold their arms out in front of them with their eyes closed. If you see one arm droop, that's an indication that there's been loss of neural function. You ask the patient to smile, and if one side droops, then that would indicate, again, that you have a stroke, you have loss of neural function. And the final thing you do is you ask the patient to say something. You could say, um, repeat this sentence after me, uh, how now brown cow, or you could say, uh, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Any sentence you can think of. And if they garble their speech, that would indicate that the Broca's area, that the speech area, has been affected. And very similar to the coronary syndrome, what do you do? Well, you do, you do your ACLS survey, of course. You make sure the ABCs are taken care of, and you get the patient to the hospital as soon as possible.